This video is going to look at sorting information. As we saw in a previous video, new records will always be added to the bottom of a database table in order to make sure that they display the information in an ordered structure we can apply sorts. We have the sort and filter group in the home ribbon and we've got A to Z ascending and A to Z descending. If I wanted to sort this table by first name in ascending alphabetical order that means A to Z all I'd have to do is either select the column by clicking inside the column heading or any field within that column and then simply click on A to Z ascending and that will sort the information so that it runs from A to Z in ascending order. To remove a sort all we have to do is click on the remove sort button and it will put the table back into its original point. A second way to sort is with the drop down arrow for column headings and then the first options are sort A to Z or sort Z to A so if I wanted to sort in descending alphabetical order I just sort Z to A and then Z or the closest letter in the alphabet is to the top and A is at the bottom. Once a table has been sorted if we zoom into this bit here you should see that there is a little up or down pointing arrow just to the right of that drop down arrow and that indicates that a sort has been applied to that column. If it's pointing down then it's descending order, if it's pointing up then it's ascending order. As we can see there. And again to clear all sorts all we have to do is remove. So that's sorting your information. We can apply sorts to more than one column at a time. So if I sort first name in ascending, but then I want town in descending, it does make a change, but it can cause issues if you try and sort too many columns. And again, the remove sort button will not just remove sort for town, but the one for first name as well. So, we can sort quite simply and remove the sorts.